Hey guys, Mick Reaps here, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. This is episode two, uh, part three, maybe? I'm not sure, it's been a couple of days since I played again. All I remember is we've got Finn Little Clem's hat after Dan shot a woman in the head. Oh no, we found it before he shot the woman in the head. What we got in here? We'll take, take everything that we can take. Good lad. Let's see what else can we click on? Anything? So we're going to obviously go to the barn. Go see Clem. Find out what she's up to. Is there anything else around here? Let's talk to the loony. Uh, you really like that gun? It's a little bit creepy. Yeah, let's try that. You run this place with one cow. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You really like that gun. What's not to like? Uh, just kind of creepy, that's all. Just kind of creepy, that's all. Times like these, a 243 will keep you warmer at night than any lady I ever know. You don't know the kind of ladies I know. Uh, this place is very isolated. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper there. It'll be a good one. Yeah, he's a creepy, creepy, creepy man. Anyway, let's go to the barn. So as I was saying, I've had a little hiatus. Not been playing too much, been working. Really want to get more game entertainment and really want to get like a streaming schedule going but life's against me in that respect but my question to you guys is what would you like to see me stream if anything hey so what happened at the camp did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt mark uh, we found a tent we found a tent and some boxes nothing really useful Seriously? No food? Jesus. We're getting dinner. Why Why is she asking for food? How do you feel about leaving them around? Did you get the feeling something's going I get the feeling something's going on. Now let's ask what they were arguing about. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here, and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm with you on it. Yeah. get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know tell what her. I mean. He's Fucking tell her, Lee. Always give you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now, we don't want to be rude. Oh yeah, because you're the fucking picture of man is there. What's going on with his eyes? Holy shit, he's got all zombie on his... I never noticed that before. Oh, coming back. Where's your eyeballs, big guy? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. He likes her. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Well, I hate to tell you I told you so, but I did fucking tell you so. I was the only one that wasn't for coming here. Cause hey, we're starving. 
all the crops over there. I'm not going to look at that shit. Anything with a hand will go for. I'm going to try to speed this up as much as I can. See, Andy seems alright. But that Dan is a creepy motherfucker. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. Meh. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. Oh shit. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Mm. They said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? Mm hmm. I don't know. Got your hat, check. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! Damn right. I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen. Did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Well, I'd like to someday. I haven't thought about it in a way. Finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Wait. Oh, what? We can speak to the cow? No, we can look at the cow. What's up, Duck? Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> Kids. That's just being kids. Come on, cat you. Catch you. How you doing, Andy? Yep. Danny and I met a woman in the woods. When do you think we might eat? How's the cow? Well, we know the cow's fine. Let's let's just cut to the chase. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Hmm. He knows. He's, he's in on whatever it is. Thanks. Yep. Yep. Alright. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? She's, uh... She's not actually... I'll protect her. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Looks like a bolt, Lee. Use the tool. Use the tool. Hey, Use the tool. You know how to pick a lock, right? Wait, because no. I'm black? Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, shit! He's straight in with the racist man. bullshit. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. Yeah. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. 
Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Uh, yeah, what's in here? Can I hear the noise? What's behind the door? Just checking out the barn. What's yeah? What's behind the door? Let's find this door, Andy. Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. You'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hmm. Fuck is up. This ah, uh, distracting. We got anything in here? Nothing. Just a salt lake and a bath. Get out of there. I've got such a like a dry tickly cough coming on. Oh, a shoe. Why is the camera doing that shit? What is that? Let's close. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Because they're covered in bloodly. Let's be honest, there's blood bags there. Or saline drips. What else we got? Anything in this one? Nada. Well, this is gives a whole load of fuck all. Kenny, I thought he was going to distract him. Well, there's nothing in any of these. Okay. Back in a sec. You soon, chaps. Got to be something out here to distract them. Uh oh. So, how does a Larry like yourself run this whole place? Right to get his giggle stick sucked. Plus, I had my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. So we've got nothing else here. A tap that you can't do anything with. I'm sure it's something with this generator. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's not just turning it off. Get that shit opened. Good lad. Now you turn it off. You take the belt off. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. And we're in. Did it, Kenny? Keep an eye out. Oh, we don't need to tell him we've got a multi tool, just use it. Dinner time, children. children wait I'll make an excuse for you get that thing off all right
Hope you're not letting them screws fall to the floor, Lee. Every piece of home furniture that I've built, like flat pack furniture. Excuse me, I've always lost the screw. Why did they make the screws the same colour as your carpet? How do they even know the colour of your carpet? Bastards. You find them with the hoover like three days later. Okay, complete carnage. Oh shit. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. Uh, why is there so much blood? I found a door open like that. Say nothing. You know, you're a strange guy, Lee. Well, anyway, uh, we best get going. I'll fix this door later. <laughs> oh, Brenda, you are wow. an angel. Holy Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I can oh, he clocked the gun. Where's Mom? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. I've also been fucking pushing zombies off your fence. Where's the bathroom? Here? Boom. Crosspants. I could use a shave. Yeah, Some probably not. Wash your hands, then, fucker. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Following the card upstairs. Hey Mark, you up here buddy? Uh oh. Come on Lee. Tread lightly, carry a big stick. Okay, let's follow the card. That's what they can. need so much morphine for. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Eh, uh, well, Mark did have an arrow in his back, Lee. Uh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Okay. Connect that shit. up here resting. Brenda is telling lies. Is that blood? Kinda looks like it. Go behind the secret bookcase. So I understand that they might not have heard the creak on the floor coming up but they're going to hear you pushing a fucking bookcase. Come on Lee. Hey, Mark! Legless Mark! Lee. Oh, shit. Mark! What the hell happened? Had an arrow on his shoulder. Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat 
dinner. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh. They're kind of eating Mark. They're kind of eating Mark. They're eating his legs, eating his legs. They're kind of eating Mark. Oh, Ashley. Don't eat that. Oh, we stopped her. Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, Doc's deleted. Sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? Oh, Doc's loving it. Some You're inhuman. Uh, it didn't have to be this way. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Oh, I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. We don't know me. Number you. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Oh shit. Can you get your gun? Lily grab a knife. Lily grab a knife. Lily grab a knife. Nobody's going anywhere. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black. Put your guns down. We're walking you out of here. Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Somebody I did something was great. Eat. Everyone, everything will be okay. Oh no, you done gone and fucked up. I'll kill you, let go of her. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Is there a way? What happened? You okay? Yeah, the Clem's first. Okay, Clementine. They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walker. Dad, please. Right. I think we're going to leave it there, chaps. Old boy's going to have a heart attack again. Alright. Ah. I'm just going to go at it. I'm going to do my outro. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Pretty exciting episode so far. We ate, or we, we almost ate. 
Mark's legs. Uh, kind of fucked up. Kind of fucked up. Have you enjoyed the episode? Uh oh. Oh fuck. Told you. Called it. Boom. It's because I played it before, though, to be Dad, honest. Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead. He's not dead. Kind of looks dead. What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you mm -hmm. saying? Can't kill him if he's not dead. We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. Remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's That's him true. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. Come on, we know this guy's not going to make it. Remember what Ben said. Got to destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Oh, oh shit. Come on. Oh shit, really? Wake up. Wake up. We got we got you, Kenny. We've got you, buddy. Uh oh. Just drag her away. No, oh shit. Do it, Kenny. Do it. No. Oh. Motherfucker. Well, he's not coming back. Was dead. He, he was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. <laughs> I know, I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Think about your walkie talkie. Uh, your, your walkie talkie, look, there you go. Pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Well, I was going to end back there. Till Larry went and had a heart attack and fucking died on his ignorant prick. He even screws up my, my outro. He's been nothing but a thorn in my side, that big fucking twat but he's done we're going to call him Mr. Saltblock he looks like a guy from Battleblock Theatre right now um, so that's kind of cute in a sick, twisted, demented horrible way but that's me so go ahead, leave a like if you enjoyed the episode if you've played this game did you do anything differently let me know in the comments and I'll catch you tomorrow in the next episode. Thanks guys!